Today's topic is Visual Snow Syndrome. This syndrome is a recently discovered neurological disorder. It is characterized by flickering dots across your entire field of vision. The dots are like snow or like static. Very little was known about the Visual Snow Syndrome until the late 2010s. It is still not clear how common it is or what causes it, but some studies suggest that it may be related to problems with one or more parts of the brain. Some researchers think that for some people, visual snow might go unnoticed, but in some, it can be debilitating and can affect their quality of life. Symptoms The main symptom of this syndrome is the persistent flickering of dots across a person's entire field of vision. Visual snow is usually black and white, but can also be flashing, colored, or transparent. About 75% of people with visual snow syndrome report light sensitivity, impaired night vision, and seeing an afterimage of objects after they are gone. They also experience visual changes originating from within the eye. This causes floaters in both eyes, bright flashes of lights, blue field and topic phenomenon, in which they see squiggly lines when looking into bright blue areas like the sky. Causes the cause is still largely unknown, but experts think it may be a neurological disorder of the brain's visual processing center. Also, the dysfunction and excessive activity of neurons in the primary visual cortex and the lingual gyrus may play a role. The exact area of the brain involved in this syndrome varies between people. This may explain why people feel different symptoms. In early studies, people with visual snow syndrome generally had normal scores on eye exams. People usually develop visual snow syndrome when they are young. However, some people develop it after taking medications, brain trauma, or infections. Risk factors. Visual snow syndrome appears to be closely related to migraine. This shows that there might be a positive shared mechanism between the two conditions. Almost 75% of people with visual snow syndrome have a history of migraine. Also, about 25% have anxiety or depression. Diagnosis. This syndrome is often misdiagnosed as persistent migraine aura. Your doctor will carry out some tests like a physical exam, eye exam, and neurological exam. To diagnose visual snow syndrome, your doctor will need to decide that you have visual snow that lasts longer than three months. And at least one of these four additional symptoms, impaired night vision, light sensitivity, paleonopsia, enhanced entoptic phenomena. Treatment. There is no current treatment effective to treat visual snow syndrome. Researchers are still investigating the potential options. Current evidence suggests that medications that prevent migraine don't consistently improve or worsen visual snow syndrome. Recreational drugs and alcohol may worsen the symptoms temporarily. Transcranial magnetic stimulation is however under investigation as a potential treatment. Some research suggests that it may be beneficial, but larger studies still need to fully explore its use. There is interest in using tinted lenses to improve the symptoms of visual snow syndrome. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.